Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. And we're here. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow! Jellyfish! <gasps> and they're glowing! When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky! Dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it! The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. We got it! Nice, nice work, 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 Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. <sighs> Wait! Just a little soggy still. <laughs> doesn't have wings like a bird. They have flaps of skin under their arms that they use like a parachute. Oh, so they don't really fly. They glide, like a person on a hang glider. Cool! Whoa. Scientists think they do it to escape danger and to save the energy they would use climbing around. I don't think it likes the light. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's an owl! I really want to see an owl. Then let's head this way. <laughs> wow! I think it's a great horned owl. They're great hunters. They prey on rabbits, squirrels, and even skunks. Those are big animals for a bird that size. Is that a great horned owl, too? That must be the female. It's higher. So you can tell the males from the females just by listening. Look out! Ah! Look, a different one. Cool face. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll say, I think this one is a barn owl. And it... <laughs> doesn't hoot like most owls do. It shrieks. You know, I was a teeny bit nervous about being in the dark. You were? You know I was. Oh, it's okay, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. Listen, you can hear the animals that are out at night. It's like a song. A night song. Have you noticed the night has a rhythm And a melody all of its own And the music that goes along with them Is the sparkle of stars in the moonlit sky Goes on and on and on Night song, night song Grab a shooting star and sing along Night song, night song It's a magical sound, are you listening? Your heart can sing night song. <laughs> yeah!
breathing, Rulo. Like I said, totally under control. Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's her status? Hopscotch, mountain top, shindig valley. Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach giant polos, you play? I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> you say so. Uh, okay. So was there. Polo's a great engineer. But what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! Forever! Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Ooh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> this engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. Ball! <laughs> Yay! Ball! Ah! Oh, the wind's really starting to blow. Ah, the ball! Ah. All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the polo boat forward, and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's Bye Bye Island. Okay, got it. That doesn't look right. Huh. Nash! Give them a heads up. Right. <gasps> Is that Marco? Right. Ah, uh, Nash, Nash, let's go this way. Phew, <sighs> that was close. Meerkats! There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look! Babies! Right! They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah! They hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit too. Look! They're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Ooh. To keep their babies safe? I think so. And when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. Nash, 
is going to be so surprised. It's Marco. He must be heading this way. Quick, hide it. What you doing? Nash, since you like bonga bonging so much. We thought you could use... <gasps> Bongos! Bonga bonga bong!